We've always admired Jamie Redknapp's <coughs> skills, but now we've been given the perfect excuse to openly ogle him. He's now the face of m &S menswear, which has upped his stakes in the footy fashion brigade. Lucky Lisa popped along to meet him. Ah, oh, wouldn't they just melt your heart? The kids, yeah, sure, but what about Jamie Redknapp? The ex-footballer with a big heart, big bang balance, beautiful wife, kids, and a great sense of dress. Shook shirts, no wonder he's the face of m &S menswear. I've been involved with Marks and Spencers for a few months now. Yeah. Really good, it's uh, early stages, but I'm loving it. You know, I'm, I like fashion. I think with the job I do now, wear more suits than football kits, so course, I think it's... Yeah. Uh, if it's nice, I'm really enjoying it. So what wouldn't be in your wardrobe? We say pink? Would you do pink? Would you do I've canary yellow? I've had some rascal gear. I've had some really, yeah, London, uh, a few years ago. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I'm not sure. We never, nobody ever gets it right all the time. What would I want? No, I'm not, I'm not into bright colours. I don't know why. I just never have been. You know, I, mean, I play a lot of golf and even then everyone says, boy, because he's got black on or white. You know, yeah. But that's, that's how it has to be. Looks good. It's going to yeah. gangster look for the Doesn't mean I'm man. unhappy. It just means <laughs> this is what I like. No, yeah. it's got that madman look about it. You know, that kind yeah. of gangster yeah. look about it. Yeah. Yes, it's very good. We approve. Thank um, you. But, you know, you've got your son on tow as well for this campaign because he's going to be doing some of the children's wear. That's lovely. We did one picture with uh, my little boy, Charlie, just to... Uh, uh, to advertise obviously Father's Day and, and get presents, but I mean he's not into he's not into giving presents. I mean the, it, <laughs> how he got him to give it to me was was a mystery because normally he loves getting things, not interested in going the other way. Louise and Jamie Redknapp are your average typical footballer slash singer couple. <clears throat> Ring any bells? But they're not as out there as the other couple of the same vein, or are they? Well, I think you know, I think it's it's like anything. It. Uh, and we, um, we we get on well, but also I think you have to be a bit careful that you don't do too much. And, and but, but you know, sometimes you've got to do things together. Yeah, and, of you know, everybody else does it, then they say it's yeah. no problem. And listen, you made me so jealous those ads you did when you went on holidays. That's and right, I was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> oh, that <laughs> well, looks so good. It was either that, you know, some people go, oh, that's really nice. Some people go, oh, that's a bit cheesy. So, I, I mean, it was... Um, we all go on holiday, so you're advertising something yeah. that I think we all like doing. And, uh, but I wanted fine. to come on holiday with you. Like, yeah, that's, 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 what we're, that's what we were trying to get it to that market. You know, we all love going away, don't we? Well, I think going away with you would be fan blooming -tastic. Anywho, over to the thing you do best, football. And after Jamie's goal score at the Old Trafford for UNICEF over the weekend, the celebrity football contest, me thinks he's becoming a bit of an old man, poor me injury syndrome. Or a case in point, ladies, we all know about it. The man flu. I can't lie, this is what, two days after, I, I, I feel like something has hit my whole body, you know, I've been, because I, I, you win, win, I'm 36 now and obviously retired five years ago, but you still think your body can do what it could years yeah. ago. So it's like it the two-day hangover thing, oh, you think you goodness, can do it yeah. then? Oh, yeah. And plus we did have a, quite a lot to drink and I did see, um, you know, that I think a couple of the Westlife boys were uh, were there after as well, and they were there had a few drinks. You know, they were they were they, on Sunday night, and about three o'clock in the morning after the game, I was still there. Yeah, you sound like you need the little mini violin because you're like, I'm getting a bit old now. Oh, no, no, I too, honestly, do the old, my knee, my knee was not. You know, like that, I, I realised why I retired because I had a bad knee because now it went like, as soon as I figured right now. I thought, oh no. I know, I know. But one of their footy enthusiasts was also at Old Trafford at the weekend to lend his celebrity helping hand. Like Robbie Williams played for us. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Robbie was in great form. Yeah, he's. Uh, he's got lost a lot of weight. Looks really fit now. He and does, he's really yeah. into football, of course. Everyone yeah, but he's that. a really good guy, Robbie. I mean, he's. Uh, I mean, four years ago we did it, and he's in so much better condition now than what he was four years ago. Indeed, but there's one set of numbers Jamie doesn't have on speed dial on his iPhone. I didn't get the West Life Boys number, but I always really like them. They're, they're great guys. They seem really down to work. Good old some lads. You know, yeah. they, they, they love their football. And big, the only thing is they're May United fans. But listen, you can't get old. <laughs> ah, getting in the old dig. Well, you can catch Jokester Jamie fronting the M&S menswear campaign at a store near you.